Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we'll be talking about which book is best for which personality type. And I'll be walking you through some of my favorite books and I'll be recommending which personality types I find will enjoy these kind of books the most. So in today's video, you have a chance to win one of these books free of charge. So basically anybody who subscribes to my Patreon this month, this month only, has a chance to win one of these books for free. So you can get one of these beautiful books that I'm going to be reviewing. Now. So just let me know which books you like the best and which one you're the most interested in. And some of your shipping details to Patreon and I will get you hooked up. Book number one goes out to all of you INTPs and it's a science fiction book called Record of Spaceborn Few. It's actually part of a trilogy of standalone books, all of them equally amazing and beautiful for different reasons, discussing different kinds of uh, science fiction philosophical and ethical problems like AI and morality and ethics and uh, how to live uh, after your planet has died. This one is called We Destroyed Our World and Left It for the Skies. Our numbers were few, our species had scattered, we were the last to leave. And it's about how people cope after losing their planet and yeah, going on a science fiction space adventure. For all you INFPs out there, I have another book I really, really love and it's called Le Strange the Dreamer. It's by Lainey Taylor. It's a book called or described as The Dream Chooses the Dreamer not the other way around and laszlo strange war orphan and junior librarian has always feared that his dream shows poorly so yeah that's um, how to cope with the pressures of having a big dream or having some kind of higher ideal or being an idealist and yeah a fantasy landscape fantasy world uh, where everybody thinks you're foolish or naive or yeah <laughs> It's an amazing book about yeah the power of dreams and it uh, discusses and explores you know it's it's the most escapist form of fantasy I've ever read. Book number three goes out to all of you ENFJs and everybody who loves their grandpas. This is a book about a son uh, who decides to go and uh, study and find out about his grandpa who lived a secret life and it. Uh, is called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and it discusses basically like the topic of kind of a strange X-Men like world where people are born with special gifts so-called peculiars and they cannot fit in in the real world so they live in secret abandoned uh, loops or time loops and uh, yeah this whole story is about whether these children are real, who they are, and uh, whether his grandpa was one of them. Book number four goes out to all ESFPs. It's called The Falconer and it's by Elizabeth May. And yeah, besides a beautiful cover, it has this description. She's a stunner. Edinburgh, 1844. 18-year-old Lady Eilina Cameron, the only daughter of the Marquess of Douglas, has everything a girl could dream of. Brains, charm, wealth, a title, and drop-dead beauty. So this one goes through everything from uh, knife fighting and uh, fairies and uh, strange creatures and magic and yeah, being well-dressed. The next and the most beautiful book in my collection is uh, Brandon Sanderson's Skyward. And the thing about this book is it's perfect for ENTPs. It's the story of... Uh, <laughs> written by and for ENTPs and Brandon Sanderson is able to in this book write a terrifically terrifically tall tale packaging superhero action into compelling punchy chapters that keep you reading it's fast feisty read with characters that are skillfully drawn assassinations gunfights physics spending motorcycle chases and a world you can't wait to hear more about so for all of you ENFPs, I definitely recommend this one. For ENFPs, I have here in Dutch, but you'll get it in English, Ontwortled or Uprooted by Naomi Novik. And this is a really, really fascinating fantasy tale about a girl who is abducted by a old man, a wizard, in a similar to Rumpelstiltskin style tale. But uh, the tables are turned and it turns out she has magic. 
but a strange kind of magic he cannot understand. She is chaotic, she is uh, uh, eccentric, and she is unique in all the right ways, and in all the ways an ENFP might relate and enjoy. For INFJs, I'm going to offer the ultimate fantasy tale and one of the, the most popular and widely acclaimed fantasy books in modern setting and that's called The Name of the Wind and it's by Patrick Rothfuss. It's heavy and big and it's uh, quite a page, page turner. It's a story about uh, a boy genius who... Uh, is uh, put through all kinds of hurdles as he aspires to become a bard, musician, magician, and all those kind of things. He, uh, this is an interesting book for INFJs, I believe, because it goes so deep into psychology and into human nature and into who we are. It's a kind of fantasy escapist fiction story that really puts you through and... Uh, weaves a tale of a really amazing person. <laughs> um, definitely s seen uh, from uh, the NF style idealists. For INTJs, I'm gonna show you the most appreciated book I've read in my entire life. This book is a book that hit me on so many levels and truly transformed my life. This is a book I began reading in uh, the beginning this of this year. It's called The Way of Kings and it's also by Brandon Sanderson. This book describes a kind of world haunted by heavy storms that lay uh, the whole world bare as a wasteland. People hide in small caves and palaces and fortresses set to shelter from the storm. But an evil force is coming to this world and is uh, coming to destroy it all. And in this world, there used to be ideals. People used to have beliefs. People used to have some kind of standards. They used to honor their promises and they used to live for something greater than themselves. But this has become a world that has been thrown into selfishness and the conflict and war, a permanent, constant war between different factions. So the characters in this world have to set up a big new system on order of knights that uh, practice ideals and swear to and follow ideals through and through. So I really deeply recommend this book to INTJs and to any sibling personality types and anybody who is interested in a deeper, longer fiction that will really change your life. And now a book for ESTPs. This book is called Spellslinger and it's by Sebastian de Castell. And it's a shorter style of fantasy. And the, end the beginning title is Magic is a Con Game. Kellen is moments away from facing his first magic duel and the start of four trials that will make him a spellcaster. There's just one problem, his magic is gone. At his 16th birthday approaches, Kellen falls back on his cunning and until a daring stranger challenges him to take a different path. So this is a game about deceit and argument and magic and not having magic in a world that is magical and uh, how you can survive and it's truly a survivor story. Uh, with a lot of banter and conflict and uh, funny arguments between the different characters. Now a book for ISTJs. It's called Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. So Eleanor Oliphant has learned how to survive but not how to live. She leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal deal for lunch every day and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. So this is a really interesting book. It's not a fantasy, it's a fiction, but it's a story about happiness and uh, uh, living life and uh, fear of loss and fear of missing out. I feel it's a story of fear of loss and I feel st stories of fear of loss really hit home for introverted judging types. Uh, these kind of stories really challenge you to question, okay, what is it I'm afraid of losing if I don't have anything? 
and it's a book that will encourage you to take risks and to try new things. Finally, a book for ISFJs, The Shadow of What Was Lost. And this is a story about uh, characters that have to travel through time back to the past to uncover the secrets of their world. And, uh, this is a world where a lot of magic has disappeared and why, where uh, there is a lot of uh, control and institutions and administrators set to keep magic away from the world or at least under tight reins but nobody really knows where magic comes from or how it works or why it's there or what is happening in the world and a lot of lore has gone missing so the characters have to really go and investigate and figure out what's really going on and the question is are we the bad guys <laughs> or are we the good guys who knows Okay, so that's not a book for every single personality type and I know I missed some personality types out there and I'm sorry for that. But truth of the matter is anybody can love any of these books and it's not necessarily so about your personality type as learning about a new personality type. So also consider what personality type do you want to learn more about and what do you want to understand about these personality types because these books will really... Uh, challenge you to consider with empathy other people's motives and reasons for their behavior. It will really teach you to see things from people with different values, lifestyle and mindset. It will also get you to think about how different people see the world and it will get you some new understanding. I believe reading when paired with Myers-Briggs type knowledge and personality psychology can really aid understanding of people. When you can understand and read books and fantasy and fiction and all kinds of novels and uh, storybooks, you can also venture into the mindset and world of other personality types in a way that is simply not possible in the real world. So hearing them explain in their own words, their own thoughts, their own experiences is crucial to increase interpersonal intelligence and heightened awareness of self and of other. So any one of these books can become yours so just let me know what book was your favorite and which book you plan to read the most and visit patreon.com slash to become a subscriber or patron. Now thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.